everyone, my name is Gina. I'm so excited that you're here today. I have a bar booty workout for you. So all you need for this one is an optional resistance band loop. If you don't have one, no worries. I promise you're gonna feel it without it. And then you'll also just need a chair, something sturdy you can hold on to for balance if you need it, a water bottle. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with a march. We're gonna stack one hand on top of the other. Drop your shoulders, nice tight core. Let's march it out on the right. Here we go. Go right and left, right and left. So today's workout is gonna be mostly strength-based, working on that lower body, getting those spots that can be kind of hard to target sometimes, those inner thighs, outer thighs, right into that booty. So while we warm up right now, I want you to take some nice deep breaths. Every time a leg comes up, you exhale, exhale. So use your core to help lift your leg. Here's eight, seven, six, five, go four, three, two, let's add some arms and press it forward and press. So just reaching out through that chest, shoulders stay down, core is tight, get some oxygen to those muscles and breathe. Awesome job, eight to go right here. Here's eight, seven, six, five, go four, three, two, push it overhead, we lift and lift. So reaching up towards the ceiling on the way down, I want a nice squeeze in that back. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, arms stay high, keep marching. Maybe try to point your toes a little bit harder. Legs a little higher, last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, six, four, three, two, and release it. So we're gonna take a nice regular squat, just sink it down, and then you're gonna lift that left foot off the floor. So you're gonna squat, alternating sides. So you can do whatever you want with your arms, you can have them on your hips, just warming up those legs. Side to side, I want you to think about using those outer thighs, your glutes, to help lift that leg. Down and lift. Let's do four more, just warming up the legs right here. Here's three. Weight in your heels. Squeeze all the way up. I just take my chair. <laughs> legs stay high, a little lift, and lift. So here's where you can hold on to that chair. If you want it for that extra support, drop your shoulders, open up your chest. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's tap the floor. Tap the floor, you lift, down and lift. So nice point in those toes. Try to get that leg as long, as straight as you can. And you can even put your hand on that oblique, you'll feel that muscle working to help lift your leg. Lift, down and lift. Here's four, three, here's two. Hold it up there, you're gonna bend your knee in and then extend it out. Arm can reach, in, extend, in, extend. Beautiful job, nice length. I wanna see you really reach out. Good. Still using that core, here's four. Three, here's two, and release it back to that squat, switching sides, down, side leg lift. So those toes stay pointing forward. Don't let that hip rotate open. Everything stays nice and square right now to start. Down and lift. Good control. Let's do three more. Here's three. Here's two. And other side, so that left leg stays high. If you need something to hold on to, you can always move your chair or relocate. You know what you need to do. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tap the floor. Tap and lift. And lift. So same thing, really straight, long line. Nice point in your toes all the way down. Here's six. There's five. You've got to get that leg up there. Oh. Here's three. Here's two. Hold it high. Bend your knee. Extend. 
extend, extend. I'm gonna move my chair because I need it apparently. Good, so arms can join the party. Got a nice big reach. Here's four. Here's three. There's two. And release it. Nice wide stance. Three a squat. Little drop right here. Little drop. And drop. Still warming up. This is the last part of our warm up. So I want you to try to get your hips as low as you can. And knees are going towards your toes, but not past your toes. So watch those knees. Keep those shoulders down and back. Ribs are down. Keep that core nice and engaged. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's touch the floor. So you touch the floor, reach up, down and lift. So just getting that heart rate up a little bit right here. Option to come up onto your toes. Good, big reach. Let's do four more. Extend, here's three. Go two. And release it. So hopefully we are warmed up. If you have your band, go ahead and grab it. Like I said before, if you don't have a band, no worries. I promise it'll still feel great without one. So if you have that band, it's gonna go two inches above our knees. Okay, so right there above the knee joint. Come into first position. So heels are together, toes are out. Come up to your highest point on your toes and then glue those heels back together. So your body is like a pencil, super straight, super tall. Got my eraser right here on top. You're gonna bend your knees. Good, so you're in a nice little plie situation with your hips raised. Your hips are right over those heels. So make sure this thing isn't happening right here. So everything stays pulled under. Roll those shoulders back. And we're just starting the party right here, static hold. So your goal is to creep it down every second to find your most challenging point with your highest pair of high heels on. So heels super high. Good. Nice, deep breath, sink it low. We got six seconds right here, friends. Here's five, four, three, two, and let's do some little drops. So this is about a two inch movement. Down an inch, up an inch. So really nice control. Make it really tiny. Good. And if you have that band, I want you to think about pressing against the band every time you sink it down. Big push out, push. Great job, breathe. Lift those heels with they're falling down. Eight to go, here's eight. Seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, hold it low, just flare your knees. You flare, so if you have that band, pulling that band apart, that you're trying to break it. Eight to go, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it wide, tuck your hips, little tuck, tuck. So you're just pulling those hip bones right underneath your torso. Every time you tuck, you exhale. Exhale and use that core to help you. Eight to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it low. Roll your hips. Roll it around. Squad. Everybody trying to go a mini dance party together. No big deal. Here's four, three, we do this every two. Time. Good size. Rotate other way. Little hip like circles. All you have is a static hold. So just breathe, I know it burns. I'm right there with you. It's three, two, and just hold it low, lowest point. I want you to pull hands up, try to break it. One or both arms up overhead. Drop those shoulders here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release it. Whoa, we're gonna just that band for a second. Quick stretch for those quads, quick stretch for those right toes. Bring you down towards the floor. Tuck and squeeze your glutes. The old thing for bar, that in between, that stretch to lengthen out the muscles. We know that's not really how it works. You know? Go ahead and switch sides. But my thing is that it feels good. So if we can get in a little stretch in between, a little hug before we move on, it's a good thing. So go ahead and release it. And we're going to come to 
a folded position. So if you had your comments off or a couch, this is a good option right here. I'm going to be kind of low on my chair. But the goal is for your back to be really flat. So make sure if you're not slumped down with their shoulders. That way you're not lifting that floor up. Fine and long. So I'm going to be kind of above my chair. Okay? I'm going to take my right foot. My right leg is bent. Right foot down towards the floor. So don't let it creep open like that. We'll do that in a minute. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> so of course, stay nice and tight. And I want you to think about tapping your heel on the ceiling. So a little tap and tap. Breathe. Keeping that core engaged the whole time. You have eight more right here, friends. Here's eight. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, we're going full range to your knee, the ceiling, knee, the ceiling. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Get a big push at the top. Down, you press, and press. Good, nice full range. Here's four, three, go two. Now hold your highest point, hands can go, extend, you bend. Press out through that heel, and your goal is to keep that knee lifted the entire time. So don't let that leg fall. I know it's tempting. I know it burns. That's how change happens, right? We do things that feel a little weird, a little uncomfortable, a little stronger every single time. Exhale, inhale. Eight to go. Here's eight. Seven. Go six. Five, four, three, here's two. Keep that bend. You're gonna rotate open. So that right hand comes to your hip. And you're gonna do your little lift right here. Little lift and lift. So chest is open, core is tight. Take some deep breaths. Your goal is to get that knee really high. Good. Don't let it fall. Tiny bend in that standing leg for support. It's easy to feel like that moving leg is the only one working right now, but both sides stabilizing and working together. Okay, six more. Here's six. Five, four, three, two. Take it all the way down and lift. Down and lift. Think about rotating from that hip bone. Good, here's six. All you have is a hold. Four, three, go two. And just hold it up there. Extend your like flex your foot. Maybe come up onto releve. Maybe reach that right arm up and over. Just breathe. Find that height, lift it up there. Here's five, four, three, two, and release it. Oh, give it a little shake. We're going to take it to alternating thirsty lunges. Nice, full range. Shake out those muscles a little bit. So for your curtsy lunge, you don't need to take a big step around and back. And sink it down low. Good. So we're going nice and slowly for now. So when I say go, you have a few options. You can move more quickly. Or you can add a little hop and tap the floor. So those are your choices. Either heart rate up or just continue to work on that strength. We're doing five seconds for 30 seconds. You've got it, friends. You've got some energy. Three, two, let's go, let's go. I'm going to take those skaters side to side. Keep that chest lifted. And move. Your goal is to move laterally as far as you can. Power up through those legs. Explosive. You only have 10 seconds left. Finish it out. Here's your five. Three, two, and release it. Give it a little shake. We're gonna head into that fold over series on your opposite leg. So left leg. 
Reach forward from your hips. Find as long. Pull those shoulder blades back. Bend your knees. Hips stay square. Little lift. 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 So think about popping your heel up to the ceiling. And think about your core. So core is still lifted up and in. I want you to pull those shoulder blades back and down. And square your hips so that they're parallel to the floor. Don't let that hip open up to the side. And lengthen out through your neck. Find it super long. Eight to go, friends. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going full range to your knees, the ceiling, knee, the ceiling. And hopefully you're right there with me. I've got those little muscle shakes happening. Knees is working, right? Foot really active. Big exhale, push. Here's six. There's five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it high. You extend and bend. Extend and bend. Good. So I want you to think about nice length as you extend that leg. Good. Tuck it out there. Big push. Push. I'm ten. Full extension. Full flexion. Here's four. Three. Two. Keep that bend. Keep it rotate open. So shoulders come facing forward. Little lift right here. Little lift. 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 Beautiful job. So get that knee up there as high as you can. Exhale. Exhale. And same thing. You can feel that obey. Helping you lift your leg. Good. Relax that upper body. Eight to go right here, friends. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down. So you go down, you open. Down and open. Second to last thing. All you have is a hold. You got this. Super strong. And lift. Come up on to releve. Maybe reach that left arm up and over. You have eight seconds to get to your most challenging point. Let's go. Push it up there. Six, five, four, three, two, Oh, give it a little shake. We'll take a figure four. So cross that right leg over, flex your foot. Sink your hips down low. And I like to swing my hips side to side, kind of find that sweet spot. Hold it and breathe. And then come on up. Let's flip sides. So left ankle comes over, flex your foot, chest and lift your hips are low. And breathe. Good. And carefully come on up. We're going to take into a little lunge and squat series. We're going to take a big step back with that left leg. And then you're going to hold it low as you squat. So sink it down, hold it low. So your goal is to keep your head at the same level, okay? So no up and down, up and down. Low, low, hold it. Low, hold it. Beautiful. And watch those knees. Try to keep everything in stable. So if you are wobbling all over the place, squeeze your booty. I know it sounds weird but it helps you find that stability and that strength all the way down to your ankle. Good, hold it low. You have 15 seconds, just like this. Two, three, lunge and squat as low as you can. Awesome job. Seven seconds, can you get two inches lower? Yeah, you can, here we go. Four, three, two. Now hold your squat. Hold it. Little pulses. This is the last part of the set. So just breathe. Fight through it. I'm right there with you. Find your long. Eight to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up. Oh, 
take it out. We're gonna head to the mat. If you have a strap, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have one, no worries. But one thing, I'm just gonna go two inches above our knees. I'm gonna come all the way down to either your elbow. If you have any elbow, shoulder issues, you can always lie it all the way down. Okay? So if you can, come to your elbow. Elbow right underneath that shoulder. Your knees come right out in front of your hips. 90 degree bend in those legs. If you're gonna lift that leg up as high as you can go. Flex your foot so it's pointing forward. Little lift right here. Just breathe. Also feel that right in that booty. Here's eight, seven, six, five, go four, three, two, let's go full range. To your knees, the feeling, knees, the feeling. Big exhale to lift as high as you can. And if you're at home, you don't have a band, you can always hold a dumbbell right on your thigh right here. Just some extra resistance. Your choice. These are nice, inexpensive little tools. You can get on Amazon, lots of places. I like to stash them in my suitcase. I have with me the big exhale lift. There's four, there's three, two. Hold it high, extend your leg, little lift. And lift, second to last thing. I know it burns, you got it. Pushed up there, here's eight, seven, six, Five, go four, three, two, just static, hold it. I want you to try to break your band. Pull against it, resist that band. Good, push it up there. Eight seconds, breathe and shake. Oh man, here's four, three, two, and release. Oh, look it onto your back. The band stays right where it is. Gonna do some bridge work. So legs are wide, so at least not width apart if you can get them there. Your band stays right where it is, right above those knees. You're going to take your weight in your heels, so toes point up towards the ceiling. You're going to lift all the way up, lower down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So big exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So we're going to range to start. And you can probably feel how that left side is a lot tighter than the right side. Don't worry. We'll get it just as much love as the other side. It'll be nice and equal. Here's four. Three. Here's two. Hold your highest point at the top. Little lift. And then lift. Lift. And lift. Good. So pressing those hip bones straight up into the ceiling. Here's eight. Four, three, two, we're gonna sway it right and left. Go right and left. Right and left. So right hip bone comes up, left hip bone. So we're swaying those hips side to side. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it high. Little lift, lift, press. Little lift, lift, press. Lift, lift, highest point. Up, up, highest point. Good. Lift, second to last thing. You got it. Lift, lift, press. Lift, lift, press. Four more, just like that. Go three. Go two. Now hold it up there. Hold it. Static hold the finish. Pull those knees apart. Pull against that band. Don't let those hips fall. Press them up there. There we go. Eight seconds. Two, eight, seven, six, five. Go four. Three, two, and release it. Hug in your knees into your chest. Just sway it side to side, get some of that tension out. And we gotta do the other side, right? Let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and come onto our elbow. Or lie all the way down. Whatever feels better for you. But if you're on that elbow, I want you to try to avoid sinking down. I want you to lift up like there's a ball right here. Open up those shoulders. Knees in front of your hips. Left those feet. I'm gonna lift that highest point. Little lift right here. Little lift. Lift it up there. Good. So two inch movement. Core is still nice and tight. You're doing amazing. Let's finish out super strong together. 
knee lift, then lift. Eight to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go full range. Stand knees, the ceiling. Knees, the ceiling. And if you can, try to avoid letting it crash down. I want to control down. Is this all the way up? These are really great exercises working into those outer thighs, abductors, all the muscles that can help to support our knees, our hips, our back, the things that can kind of bother us a little bit. They can keep those muscles strong. Keep everything moving efficiently. Good. Exhale, lift. Now extend that leg, cross your foot, little lift right here. Second to last thing. Lift and press. All you have is that hold. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, static hold. Just hold that leg up there, really straight leg, and breathe. Here's five, four, three, two, and release it. So go ahead and come on up. We are going to head back onto our back. Ditch the band this time. We're done with the band until we stretch. Good news. We're gonna lay all the way down. This time you're gonna glue your legs together. So knees to knees, toes to toes, ankles to ankles. Glue down into those shoulders. Lift those hips up. You're gonna go down and lift. Down and lift. You notice it feels a little different than the last round. So this time we're focusing more on those inner thighs a bit. Adductors. So exhale every time your hips come high. Lift and lower. Lift. Lower, lift, and lower. Every time, try to get a little higher. Let's do four more. Four, three, two. Now hold it high, come up onto your toes. Little lift right here, little lift, and lift. Lift a little pulse. Great job, keep it going. Make sure you're breathing. Core is still active, hold in. Rooting down through those shoulder blades. Hips pressing all the way up. Eight to go. Right here. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it high. Now tap your knees together. Knees together. Tap and tap. And on the way in, I want you to think about squeezing. Activating those inner thighs. That tricky muscle group to target. Strengthening those right here. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, four, three, two. Just hold it, hold it, squeeze everything in. Lift your hips up, try to make those legs shake. There we go, one more inch, you have 10 seconds. Right here, finish it out. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then you your knees into your chest. Breathe. We're going to take it into our grand finale. On our knees. So if you're like, yeah, I don't like to be on my knees. It hurts. I have an injury. No worries. If you do not want to be on your knees, so let's come to a seated position. Extend your legs out. And you're going to do leg lifts on one side and then on the other side. And that will be working the same muscles. Everyone else, we're going to take our knees right underneath our hip bone. And I want you to press through your toes. So really ground through your toes. So our hands, we'll just take them to a prayer position at our chest. And you're just gonna lean it back. And then you're gonna exhale to lift. Lean it back, exhale to lift. So inhale, and then exhale. Really press through those toes. Firing up through those quads. Also into your core. We're finishing out this song, and then we're done. Finish strong, exhale to lift. Down, and you lift. Let's do four more. Here's four. Here's three. Go two. I want you to hold it back at that lowest point. Just hold and breathe. Make it safe. Core is tight. Drop those shoulders. Eight seconds. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, now you're gonna drop those heels so they're hovering right above those hips, right above your heels, your hips are hovering. Little lift right here. 
lift and lower. Lift and lower. Tiny movement. You got it. Finish it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Amazing job. You did it. Let's stretch it out. If you have your strap, go ahead and grab it. We're going to take it onto our backs. And just hug your knees into your chest. Get a nice little stretch. Maybe sway it side to side. And breathe. And we're going to take our strap if you have it. Place it right underneath those feet. If you need to get to go in the arches of your feet, so really just right in those toe okay? So bend your knees into your chest, big inhale. And exhale, straighten those legs as much as you can. Totally fine to have a bend in those knees. And if you want to try to bring those legs closer to your head, nice hamstring stretch. Good, release that right leg down to the floor. Left leg to the strap, nice big inhale. Exhale, open it up to that left side. Straighten the leg as much as you can. If you want more, really flex your foot. Try to angle your toes down to the floor and up towards your head. So that deeper stretch in the inner thighs. We got them pretty good today. Nice little hug. Come on up, switch hands. You're just going to cross the midline of your body about four to six inches over to that right side. So that stretch in the other side. Breathe. Come back to the center, switch legs. Right leg comes in, left leg down. Big inhale. Exhale, let it fall open. And same thing right here, if you want more of a stretch, flex your foot, try to lift up as well as over. And come on up, switch hands, you're just going to cross the midline of your body, four to six inches over to that left side. And release it, hug your knees to your chest, rock and roll all the way up. Nice big inhale right here, arms reach up toward the side, exhale down. One more deep breath, big inhale, hands moving in the middle, bring them in towards your chest, so we'll clap for you. Thank you so much for working out with me today, we're so happy that you